Five o'clock, I'm Damon Maloney. And good evening, I'm Katie Houston. We begin with news that Ohio's multi-billion dollar Intel project we've talked so much about is delayed. Construction started on the semiconductor manufacturing facility in central Ohio back in 2022, promising to create thousands of jobs. A Columbus Bureau reporter Morgan Trow tells us tonight Intel officials say they won't meet their projected production date. Two, three, yeah. let's do it. The groundbreaking of the $20 billion Intel plant has been one of Ohio's crowning achievements in recent years. The Intel plant is working great. Um, this is really moving forward. We talked to Governor Mike DeWine in December, who shared his enthusiasm about having the first of its kind semiconductor manufacturing facility right here in the Buckeye State. The plant's expected to create tens of thousands of jobs. Construction, when you go out there, you see it's right on, right on schedule. But it turns out construction isn't right on schedule. Intel tells us that their goal of starting to create chips by late 2025 isn't possible anymore. Although they would not confirm to us, the Wall Street Journal reported that this delay is due to the slow chips market and the lagging rollout of federal grant money. Delays, we understand that. We just don't want the project to come to a screeching halt. Mike Nisley with the Building and Construction Trades Council explains that getting that money from the Biden administration is essential for his workers to make progress on the plant. The company has only hired 25% of the workers from Ohio it said it would. Nisley is remaining positive, but says it's frustrating that Intel won't give an updated timeline. Intel will tell you sometimes they will move at light speed and expect everybody, their um, uh, trade partners, their contracting partners um, to move that same light speed and then they'll pump the brakes. DeWine's team told us they aren't worried and that these are typical delays. We tried to get them to address what Intel is specifically citing for the halt, but they refused to elaborate. They did, however, say that the governor believes Intel will hold up their promise of coming to Ohio. It is going to have impact all over the state. We reached out to the Biden administration and our state's U.S. senators. Only Senator Sherrod Brown responded, saying that he is continuing to work with Intel and officials to ensure that this project moves forward quickly. At the Ohio State House, I'm Morgan reporting. We'll keep an eye out for that timeline now. Ohio has a lot riding on this Intel plant. The $20 billion project is expected to employ nearly 3,000 people and will support another 17,000 jobs in fields like construction and engineering. Plus, our state will allocate $100 million to the state's technical career centers to purchase equipment for career tech education programs. And another $200 million will go to facilitate the expansion of career technical schools across our state.